Hey guys, this is Ultima from SVR Gamers, and welcome back to Ultima Plays Chrono Trigger. So, in today's episode, we went back across Lab 32, which we had to do the bike race again. Um, and it said, Bandits must report to Sir Crowley! Um, but I realized there was something else we could do over on the other side. Um, so I decided, might as well do it. Uh, so we're just gonna step here into the sewer access. Okay. Ouch. That's not so bad. Let's see how much... Oh. Okay, so you take some pretty decent damage. Wow. These things have a decent amount of health. Alright. I'm curious then if this is something I'm supposed to do later. Not well, I don't know. They could just have a lot of health. They don't do a ton of damage. Got 44 experience points. Got two tech points. Found 200. Learned dual tech aura beam. Oh, look at some little frogs. <laughs> there was a bridge here. I saw it. R ribbit. Fool, G gribbit. There's nothing here. But but it's true, ribbit. Someone's coming. Let's scram, gribbit. Ribbit and gribbit, I guess, would be their names. I'm zooming. Although it just said underling, so I I don't know. Maybe not. Hmm. Mm, you know what we did not check is what old. Alan is up here too. That's right. Oh, no, that's right. Mm. There's a treasure chest over here, which I think I can. Nope. Okay. I thought maybe I could sneak by and grab it, but that was wrong. So now we have to fight the edgers, which. So a lot of lightning damage down here, I guess. Let's see if we can take these things out in one hit. Nope. Okay. Uh, wow, so they have over 134 HP. Oh man, that sucks. That was a wasted, wasted crit hit. I'm not sure what the rhyme or reason is for crits here, although I guess it's about the same as most other JRPGs, including square ones. Which kind of happens based on one of the statistics I probably don't pay enough attention to. I mean, I, get, I don't see. I don't know. I don't know if I feel like they're doing a lot of damage or not. I mean, they kind of are. They're just incredibly resilient. Fifty-eight experience points. Alan learns laser spin. Learns dual tech rocket roll. Okay. Found six hundred gold. Whoa! Actually, curve beam or like this. Be some laser spin. Robo tackle, rocket punch. Okay, what am I at? What are we at next? Well, I mean, it looks like we're gaining a decent amount of experience. All right, so the only other way to go now is here. Uh, things are frozen. This is a tad on the spooky side. Z error. Oh, it's a kitty. Oh. Well then, how about that? All right, so let's try out one of our new techniques just to sort of show them off. Okay, actually, let's hold on. Wait a minute. Combo is nope, not yet. All right. All these rocket roll. Oh my gosh, everyone's getting a bubble off. Yeah. Okay. Uh, rocket roll, multi attack. Oh, it hits everyone. Holy shiz! That was insanely strong. Oh my gosh! Wow. So yeah, it appears you jump onto um, you jump onto his hands, and he spins you around himself. Oh. 
Alright. Well, I can't lie. I kind of wanted to try it again. So let's see. Oh, please don't tell me I have to wait through four bubbles. Please don't. Four bubbles. Okay, that's not too bad. The problem with some games like this is that some enemies can, even if they're not particularly strong, um, they can have a really long animation. So fighting them, even if you can kill them quickly, can be a little obnoxious. Well, the thing I always appreciated about the Chrono games was you didn't have to fight everything, but sometimes there's just random battles you don't really have control over. Like this. Which is a little unfortunate. I need to heal, though. Because I am dying. So. No, I need a technique. Or, uh... Bam. That works. That looks like a piece of cheese. I'm not even going to bother, because that's probably just going to lead to me... De really? Using the save point? That's... that's low. Alright, that's low game, even for you. That is low. So save points apparently aren't even a safe thing. Nope. Still can't combo. Come on, I want a combo. At this point, why wouldn't I do rocket roll? And kill everything in one massive hit. It looks pretty cool. Jeez, I can't wait to use that on a boss and just wreck them. Just like disintegrate their HP. That's gonna be nice. All right. Mm. Is there anything else I can do over here? That there's no significance over here. All right, we're on the other side. So what am I? Okay, there we go. Well, that opened a door, but that door doesn't really help us at the moment. Oh, oh, I see. Gotcha. <laughs> Press the switch and the bridge opens, Ribbit. So switch on, Gribbit. Ribbit. It's out of reach, Ribbit. And you call yourself a frog, Ribbit, Gribbit? Someone's coming. Let's scram, Gribbit. Oh, wait. Oh, one's the underling, one's the boss. Anyway, there's still Ribbit and Gribbit to me. That's all that matters. Uh, let's grab this. Got one rage band. The three of them are almost here. Coming through the sewer like they own it. They must have a death wish. We shall teach them a lesson. Let's show them, hee hee. So, Crowley, just let them come through here. They'll be chopped liver. Ha 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 ha. Hee 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 hee. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Hee 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 hee. Huh? Oh, I'll shred ya. Alright, let's see this. Well, I guess we'll find out if this is... Oh, fudge. Okay, okay, okay. G12, not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, and we just gotta heal him up a little bit. Uh, or a whirl. Yeah, there we go. Um, what should I do on him? Laser spin. All enemies. Rocket punch. Punch enemy. Let's try rocket punch. This guy is pretty strong. Ooh, alright. Okay, okay, I can feel it. I can feel it. Alright, let's, uh, rocket roll. Hmm. If he keeps attacking me, I'll just have to keep healing myself up. Did I kill him? Was that it? Wow, that was easy. I mean, he was 
hard in a sense. He did a ton of damage. He's kind of like the opposite of things in here, but I guess he didn't have a ton of health, but he did a lot of damage. So, I mean, decent decent balancing, I'd say. Right now, what's next? Is it Ribbit and Gribbit? Oh. Alright. I can't lie, I'm probably just going to keep spamming it. Because why not? Uh, I'm going to have to use an Ether soon, though. That's the only thing. Alright, she should use an ether on him, and we should combo rock and roll. Uh, and I think I have a couple shelters, so once we get on the world map, we can completely restore all our HP and MP. Hmm. Let's find where else go to next. Uh, got one bolt sword. Ooh, nice. Fifty percent counter attack rate. The rage band. Huh. So. 50% counter attack rate. So basically, it seems like every time you get attacked, you have a. Uh, every time, every time you get attacked, it seems like you have a 50% chance to just auto attack back. So that wouldn't be too bad. We did just boost our attack, so basically we'd be losing out on our attack boost that we just got. But now we'll be able to counter attack. And because of that. Or probably we can give him the power glove. Which I think makes the most sense. I don't... Okay. So is that everything here? Is that it? Or is this where I came from? That is where I came from, I think. So this would be the other side. And what is this? And what's all this over here? Death Peak. Alright, and this is all a keeper stone. Okay. So let's save it. Um, and then I have five shelters. Is now a good time to use one? Yeah, sure. We'll use a shelter. We've gotten a we've gotten a lot of gold, so or maybe Gil in this game also. But gee, I'm just assuming gold. Keeper Dome. So because of all that, just kind of hoping that we'll be able to make up for the fact that we don't have a ton of... I'm a fool, apparently. Because I went up here for no reason at all. The door's right there. What does this show? Nothing? Okay, well, let's walk back here then and talk to this old man. <laughs> Scala, I've missed you. No! You must not climb Death Peak, wouldn't make it very far anyway. It has to be the right time, and they have to show you the way. Say, so, hey, did you see my masterpieces, the Ocean Palace and the Blackbird? I designed and built them both. I am pleased you think me worthy, O oh wise one. I await your final program code. Now don't go getting all emotional on me, Krita. Back to work now. Yeah. Hmm. 
wouldn't wouldn't make it very far anyway, you say. Well, why the heck not for funsies? What the heck? Wow. So the wind just picks up and you can't. Alright. Okay. Fine. I'm gonna climb your stupid mountain anyway. Ugh. Is there a shortcut back though? That's the only thing I'm upset about. Or I'll be upset about. Oh. There we go. And this was the exit, correct? Yes. Yes. I believe so. And we're back. All right. So, um, I'm actually going to call this one here. Um, just because we did everything I wanted to. And then we got to do the whole swoop bike, race, jet bike thingy again. Um, and I'm on a bit of a, bit of a tight schedule here right now, so. I'm going to wrap this one up and probably do another one, um, but I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time for more Ultima Plays Chrono Trigger. <laughs>